Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Aya Renee and I have the ColourPop Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer collection. I love Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer all year round. I mean, I usually watch it on the holidays, but it's one of my favorite movies. So I had to buy it. I put the link down below if you're interested in buying it to on release date. It was $120 US dollars and uh, you can buy them separately, of course, but I bought the whole collection. I unboxed it and everything, but that is a separate video if you want to see the unboxing and close-ups and all that stuff. Uh, click on the link. I think I'm going to put it up high and then also in the description I'll put the link for that video as well. But today's video is me trying on the products. I'm going to... I kind of did my eyeliner a little bit um, just to put my eyelashes on. It's the magnetic, magnetic eyelashes. And uh, just, to, just to prep everything, so I'm going to do the eyeshadow. I'm going to do looks for eyeshadow and um, try on the body shimmer and the different lip glosses and lipsticks it came with. So um, we're just going to try those out and uh, see how they smell, feel, all that stuff. How they look. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Stick around and let's dive into this video. So here's the palette. Um, lots of colors to choose from. So we're going to do one style, put some lip stuff on, and then we're going to do another style and all that stuff. So here is the front. Super cute. So I'm going to take this Ready Santa right here. And then I'm just going to put it on the corners. I usually go up that already messed up then i use the same color and i go around like where i'd want my eyelid look like my eyelid is So I usually go up pretty high and it just makes me look more awake than I normally am. <laughs> and I just leave a little gap between my brow and my eyeliner. I mean, between my brow and my eyelashes. Wait. Right. Between my eyebrow and my eyelid my fake hood of my eyelid. So I'm actually going to just take the same color and put it right here. I still uh, make like a V shape. I'm gonna use a snowbank. It's kind of like a gold shimmery color. I'm just gonna put it um, kind of within the V of my, um, of the darker color right here. I'm just gonna put it inside the V. Inside the V, haha. <laughs> okay, that looks really pretty. I actually like this a lot. I actually don't wear a lot of brown on my eyes, but this is super pretty, actually. Really pretty so far. That snowbank is just very shimmery. More shimmery than I actually thought it'd be. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm gonna use North Pole and just put it in my crease. Okay, and I also like to put the same, like a lighter color right between my eyebrow and where I placed the brown Ready Santa. And same with the other side. Now I'm going to do 
I think I'm gonna add this lots of tinsel. See this right here? And go over the lots of tinsel. And then I'm going to, I think I'm gonna go up here, above. giving it some color on the top of the eyelid. See, and that's like a really pretty like red color. I'm gonna go back to the North Pole right here, the really light color, and put it on top of my eyelid right here. I'm also gonna go over the edge again just to make it a little stronger. So I'm gonna do the snowbank right here. I'm still gonna leave the red on the top. Then I'm gonna do the ready Santa again. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my eyeliner. I love this eyeliner, by the way. It's uh, It Superhero Liner. Except for it's kind of sucky to wash off, but that's probably because it is really good at being waterproof, so. All right, so I'm going to do my eyeliner how I usually do it. And uh, I go up like that. And I go up in an angle, it just helps me look more awake than I normally am. I don't know, I just like the look on me better when it goes up. And I'm just gonna go over this. Okay, so I really like this a lot. And I didn't use black eyeshadow. I always use black eyeshadow, and this time I did not, and I think it looks amazing. I really, I really like this palette. So um, I'm just gonna grab my black pencil. Don't judge me, it's running a little low. Kind of drag my liquid eyeliner along with it. Oh, there's the first look of my eyeshadow and uh, using just a few of these colors. We're gonna knock out three of the lip glosses that came in the collection, and they're a little bit easier to wipe off, and then I'm gonna do one of the lipsticks with the lip liner. Okay, so here is the lip gloss that I came with. Super cute! Here, again, the unboxing video is down below. Uh, let's try on the clear first. Very sticky. Maybe smells vanilla, vanilla-like. But here's <laughs> pretty clear to me. All right, I'm gonna wipe this off. We're gonna do the next ones. Okay, so next we're gonna try the nude colored lip gloss. I like how big this applicator is. Smells like nothing? Or something wrong with my scent? I don't know. I like this. It's like a subtle color. Of course, shiny. Feels good. Tastes like nothing. It's nice. It's good. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Next one is this more red pink gloss. I don't know if these are supposed to smell, just a heads up. I'm just smelling them. Nothing? Like nothing maybe? 
Okay, so my lips are already kind of on the dark side, so uh, not much of a difference, honestly. But a little color is pretty nice, so even if it's just a little bit. But I like this. I like this color a lot. I don't know which one I like the most. I guess it just depends what I'm wearing, but um, I like how subtle they are, but shiny and delicious and I don't know, I really like these. So I'm going to try on this next um, before I go into the lipstick. This is like a body sh shimmering powder. So here it is, so very cute. So here this is. I'm going to put this this seems like it mix it kind of gives you the little white shimmer but a little pink at the same time if you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying and I don't contour or anything like that uh, so yeah, you get what you what you see. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna try this right here. I'm just gonna use my finger. Do you see anything? I definitely see it on my nose. I kind of see it on my cheek now. Okay, so I do like this a lot. I feel like it's a good mix between uh, when you do like the pink, pinky kind of blush look on your nose and then the white shimmer look. So it's kind of like a mix. I really like that because I'm kind of not sure of which one I like the most on me. And this kind of gives me best of both worlds in doing both. Cause I see the pinky look, but I also see like the white shimmery look. Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you see? Okay, enough with that one. Let's dive into the lip liner and lipstick. All right, moving on. We are jumping into the lip liner and lipstick. First, I'm gonna do the nude color one. It'll be a little bit easier to clean up, and then I can do the darker red lip liner and lipstick so this one is the i think you're cute lip liner and lipstick and here is the lip liner and here is the lipstick right here so i'm gonna do the lip liner my lips are a little bit red from wiping and putting on the lip gloss, but hopefully there'll be a difference once I put it on. I don't see a difference. I know I'm putting it on thicker than I should, but I'm just trying to see it. I don't know. Okay, well, I'll try the lipstick on. Okay, so once I put the lipstick on, maybe I should have put the lipstick on first with this. I don't know. Maybe not. But doing that, I can actually see the difference now. I like this, actually. I like it a lot. It looks good. I, I like it. I've tried a couple of new lipsticks and uh, this is actually one of my favorites. So, but uh, this is a very classy subtle but still very stylish so I like that and it's easy it's very simple kind of gal I don't really go bold and big very much so uh, this is actually super nice and I can see me using this a lot because it still looks very clean classy just well put together and just simple almost feels like I'm wearing nothing on my lips or I put some really good chapstick on and then put lipstick over it it's very smooth, very comfortable. I like it a lot. So, A plus for this lip set. Now that I'm done with this lip liner and lipstick, 
I'm actually going to try the brighter red lipstick and lip liner and see how that looks. All right, so here is the lip liner. Here is the lipstick. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Like I'm gonna hold, like I'm doing my eyeliner. <laughs> Kind of a perfectionist, sorry. <laughs> Lip liner, lipstick. This is gonna be so bright. Ooh -ee. Wow, that's bright. Cute though, again. Feels super light. If I were to close my eyes, okay, I feel a little bit of stuff on my lips, but it's a really light lipstick. I really like this color. I don't think I have any lipsticks this color. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's almost like a maroon red. I really like it though. But yeah, this looks really nice. I'm gonna go show my sister because she's waiting for me to do actually her makeup exactly like how I have it. So I'm gonna do her makeup real quick and then we're gonna continue, which in your time is gonna be one second. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it's the next day and I'm gonna do the red look with this Rudolph Renault's Reindeer collection. Um, ignore my bags. I need to get one of those like lights that go behind your camera like the little stand ones i need to get that so just ignore those little shopping bags on black friday um so i'm gonna do the uh, red look now i'm gonna take full power actually and then do the same thing and wing it out this is very strong like a maroon. This is a really thick color. That's nice. Well, I kind of got it too powdery. I'm gonna have to fix that, but. This is very maroon, purplish. But I like it. I'm actually gonna do a handsome nose, which is also like a maroon. And again, put it kind of inside of the V shape. I'm gonna do the independent together color right here. Just put it on the inner eyelid. Right now I'll tell you this. I do like the color so far. They look really, really pretty and they're thick. They're really like bold colors. Uh, it just is a more of a maroon color than uh, what I'm wearing. This is like a blood red or like a bright red. This is like a maroonish purple. And I think I'm gonna use the Misfit toys this time. This is also like a pink color. Blend it a little bit. Put it right there. Let's fit toys. So this is more definitely a pink look. Um, I was kind of hoping for like a holiday red, but it's okay. I still really like it. So next, since this is a pink look, just ignore my red outfit. I'm going to do the North Pole again, because that's really good in your crease. I still want to make sure I have the Little Misfit Toys pinky color. I'm 
I'm also gonna put the pinky color. Mess with toys. Just ignore that. I'm gonna have to fix that. All right, so I'm gonna take independent together. I'm gonna fix the arch a little bit more. I don't really want it too dramatic between having this whiteness right here and this dark color. I like, I do like it. Well, I think I'm gonna take this a little bit lower. So I wanna grab Handsome Nose. I'm just under my eye. Cause I am gonna put my black eyeliner so that might help it pop a little bit. Gonna make sure I go at the outer edge and bring it down. I'm a little scary. I actually want to take Misfit Toys again, the very light pink, and put it in the middle of my eye, under eye, and kind of drag the darker red into it. Then I'm gonna grab North Pole. And put it under. Crazy! Alright, now I'm going to actually do my eyeliner. pencil. I'm gonna grab more of the North Pole really fast. Just gonna just add more sparkle and more white to it. Now I'm gonna fix uh, the kind of residue. Is that called the? powder that fell from my eyeshadow off my face and kind of just clean my face up a little more. Okay, so that is my second look with uh, I guess all the pinky colors, reddish maroonish pinky colors that came in this collection. And I really like it. Super cute. What's the color I'm trying to talk about? Magenta. I like that it's like a magenta pink look. Very cute. Very stylish. This would look really good with the nude color or even just a, like a plain lip like with the gloss that it came with. I really like it. Um, definitely not with the red. Actually, well, let me try it because the lip, the lip and the lip liner is not a red either. It's like a magenta like this. Okay, so here it is with the lipstick and the lip liner that I bought. This one is the Rudolph There's Always Tomorrow, just to refresh your memory. But notice this. You noticed this already probably. The red lips match the dress a little bit better. It's not the same what I did with the eyes. Okay, so now my question is, do I want to wear this lipstick with this dress and change my eyes? I'd probably just do a smoky eye. Or do I want to change my outfit? Okay, so that's enough for this uh, eyeshadow. I'm going to do one more and it's going to be using the green colors. So if you're interested in that, stick around. Okay, so, so just in case you guys are curious, uh, what I ended up doing is I just grabbed some of my black on a different palette and I had more of a red color and an orangey color that I mixed in just to kind of uh, like complete everything together. Okay, shall we continue? Makeup number three. And I'm gonna be using the greens. And um, I got a new little light over here. Is this better? Um, I did just paint my nails. Um, it's like 
four minutes ago, so they're gonna be a little wet. So if I hold my hand really weird, it's uh, because of that. And I'm a multitasking mommy, so I'm going to try to do makeup with wet nails. If I mess up my nails, it just happens. I'm used to it. I'm gonna start with Christmassy time. Do the corners already. Ooh, I like this. This is a very winter green. Winter green? Uh, hunter green? Is that what I'm supposed to be saying? Forest green. Very forest green right there. It's a very thick color, so that's nice. We've got quite a, a band going outside my house right now. I got a electric saw drill thingy, and I got frogs croaking, and I got freaking raindrops on my window. It's pretty funny. Very thick. I think I'm going to take this green also and put it down here. I don't know if you can tell, but I put white under the eyelid right here. Or in the eyelid. The same, same Christmassy time. Okay, I like it so far. I really like this color. It's very bold. It looks, it seems like you can even make it light if you want, or just thicken it up and make it very bold. So this is a really nice, really nice palette. Uh, I'm gonna try the Elf Practice right here. And I'm gonna put it a little closer into my eye. I'm gonna blend the darker with the light. Okay, so now I'm going to actually try mush mush. I think I want to use some of this more natural color and put it on my eyelid. So now I'm going to do elf practice. I'm going to take this and kind of dab it in the middle. Kind of just want the shimmer on top of the mush mush. And I actually want to take this mush mush color right here. And then I kind of want to go over in this area to kind of like dole it out so it's not like BAM green and then my skin tone. I just kind of want to kind of add a little more darkness and dark natural color right here to it. Just kind of, it kind of kind of blends it in or just makes it softer of a transition. I'm gonna take the North Pole and put it again in my crease right here. I think I wanna take a little bit more and just a little there. I'm going to get the elf practice right here. Just put it down here. Ooh, that's nice. I 
something like that. Pull it back and blend it into the darker green. So you want to grab a little bit more of this. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. I really like this color. That's so pretty. That is really pretty. So bright and bold. I mean, let me look my light up a little bit. Maybe you can see. Is that better? Like, can you see this beautiful green color? I like it a lot. This is so super pretty. Super duper pretty. I like it so much. Looks really good. I'm actually super impressed with this palette. All right, I am going to, yeah, I feel like this is totally worth that 120 something, whatever that I spent on um, my favorite movie. <laughs> um, I am really happy with this. I was hoping that I wouldn't regret spending this much money for, um, and I know that's the typical cost for um, collections. I'm just um, just a little bit cheap when it comes to makeup. So uh, I'm really impressed. I was actually worried I wasn't gonna, like I, I maybe like the gloss and that was it. But um, I, I really like everything I got in here. I'm going to do my eyeliner again just to kind of complete the look. I'm probably not going to add as much eyeliner as I normally do just because this green is just so pretty and I don't want to ruin it. Freaking we. Yas. Yas queen. Dude, I just looked at my camera to make sure it says recording. I would have been so mad. I would have been so, <laughs> so mad. What do you guys think? You like it? Yes? You like? I really like this. Hmm, which one's my favorite? Which one do you guys like the most? Tell me, tell me down in the comment section which makeup looks the best on me. I'm gonna put this on. And we're gonna, we're gonna test out the scrub real quick. I'm assuming the scrub should help remove my lipstick. That's why I put that on. Oh me. Rudolph Lippy Scrub right here. Here it is again. Again, I have a video of unboxing if you're interested, but I'm gonna open it right now. See what it smells like. It's like a vanilla. It's a vanilla flavor. Just for the start. Very sandy. Honestly, I'm new to the lip scrubs, but uh, you might you might know that already. Okay, so we're gonna try it with this lipstick on first. I taste it. It tastes delicious. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try to rinse it off real quick. Pretty nice. Off my lips. That is a bonus. That it takes your lipstick off. All right, so now I'm gonna actually use the other side. I'm just gonna put it on here too. Roll around. I like this. It 
lips are silky smooth. I like that a lot and it tastes great. All right, and then um, as the bath salts, let me show you that, just in case you don't wanna watch the unboxing, here's the bath salts, or it's like a bath bomb. I don't know if it's a bath bomb or just you just put it in salty or bath salt. But uh, this is called the Mega Mood Melt. Super cute. Trying to let it focus. But this smells not the best, ought to be honest. Um, I mean, it smells like soap. It smells like soap. I kind of wish it smelled like a different flavor than just soap flavor, you know? That's okay. It's like a bonus. Everything else is amazing. This is probably amazing too when you put it in your tub, but um, smell, I wish it was a little bit uh, more festive or, yeah, maybe festive. Maybe I'm looking for festive. Maybe they should have done like a vanilla or something too. Like the lip scrub, that would've been really good. But that's okay. Okay, so, and then there's the lip mask. Very cute. Here's the jar. And this is actually for nighttime. So it says overnight lip mask. So let me see how it smells. This is like a candy cane type smell. So I'm actually excited to try this. I'm gonna put on my lips, go to sleep, see how they feel in the morning. Doing the scrub and then this before bed. Oh man. I'm gonna put it on right now. Just to like. I'm gonna taste it too. Tastes like chapstick with a little hint of candy cane in it. Nice. I like it. I like how it feels. All right. A plus plus on this collection. I love it. Five stars. I'm very impressed. I. Get a little picky with my money sometimes what i put money towards especially makeup and i love this i don't even want to put it away i want to keep all these boxes and just put it on my counter and just use it every day i swear like i'm i'm obsessed not only because it's my favorite movie but because look at these eyes look at these lips I'm happy girl. Uh, I am obsessed and I like everything I got here. I haven't tested out the bath salt snowflake yet, but um, that's probably the least of my favorite. Just, I wish the smell was a little different. Everything else I'm very, very obsessed with. So thank you ColourPop. Uh, I am not sponsored by the way. I'm just, I just say thank you for making beautiful creations, which uh, they did. And uh, they stole my my heart with their Instagram post with this collection, and I had to get it, and I had to record it and show you guys. So um, test it out with me, because I wasn't sure what I was gonna be. So um, I'm happy I did, and um, I'm excited to continue wearing the stuff. Have a good day. Stay sweet. Just as sweet as this cute little collection and um thanks for watching and thank you guys for all your support watching comment down below what your favorite look was on me what you want to look like what you would like to do to your face <laughs> um watch my next video watch my instagram follow me on instagram and uh see you guys in the next video